course, MP for Kingston and Surbiton, Lib Dem leader since 2020. Ed, good to have you on the show. What are your thoughts? Our great country cannot have criminals and liars leading our government, especially at a time of national and international crisis. Let's remember millions of people made huge sacrifices during the pandemic. And it's clear now that Boris Johnson and Rishi Sunak just took them for granted. And while they were breaking the law, parting in Downing Street, they're just not fit to hold office. And if they had a shred of decency, they would resign. What the Prime Minister's allies would say, Sir Ed, is that he didn't break the law intentionally. Other senior civil servants broke the law. We knew about this party back in the summer of 2020. It was reported and barely caused a murmur. Also, I'm sure Conservatives will be saying, is this really a time for political turmoil, a time when there's a cost of living crisis, a time when the country is at economic war? Well, first of all, the Prime Minister and the Chancellor have been failing millions of families and pensioners over the cost of living crisis. If they'd handle it a bit better, maybe then more people have sympathy. But I think people watching your programme will saying, well, not only have they failed to help us with these rising heating bills, rising petrol bills, rising food bills, they've actually made it worse with a series of uh, tax rises that are really unfair and no help for pensioners. So the government has failed in its top duty to help and protect people from the cost of living crisis. And then internationally, frankly, there's cost, cross party support for the help we're giving to Ukraine. Liberal Democrats have argued the government should do more to help Ukraine. So uh, frankly, the Prime Minister and Chancellor must go. And if they don't go, I hope the Speaker will recall Parliament immediately so MPs of all parties can hold a vote of no confidence in this government. And that will force their Conservative MPs to come off the fence. You know, they should be doing their patriotic duty. It's the Conservative MPs' patriotic duty to kick these criminals out of government once and for all. And the failure of Conservative MPs to do their patriotic duty, frankly, it makes them guilty by association. I put it to you, you're a very experienced parliamentarian. Is this the time for a vote of no confidence, which is what you're now pushing for? Is this a time for a general election, which is what that could ultimately spark? Is the country capable of withstanding that with everything else that's going on? I think there'd be millions of people who would welcome that so we could have a fresh start. And let's remind you, in the middle of the Second World War, when we were in perilous danger, uh, Parliament voted to get rid of Neville Chamberlain and bring in Winston Churchill. So in moments that were far more perilous than now, uh, we changed uh, the leadership rightly then. I think a change of leadership now and consigning this failed Prime Minister and Chancellor uh, to the dustbin of history would be a good move for our country. And what Liberal Democrats are calling for is for either them to go or the Conservative MPs to do their patriotic duty for once or for Parliament to be recalled. We have to have a change at the top. The Met Police, in serving these notices and finding the Prime Minister and Chancellor guilty, uh, I think they've shown the way they have to go.